Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video, and we talk a lot about Blizzard's greed with Hearthstone. Hell, we had a video about that less than a week ago. Blizzard's done something kind of out of character. They have been giving away to players hundreds of packs, and you may or may not have access to this. I'll let you know the details on what's going on. As well as go over an update to the shop, you might be seeing unique bundles being offered to you. I'll go over exactly what's happening and whether I think it's a good or a bad thing. But you know what's a good thing is getting free packs through a giveaway, just like our giveaway at Murder Castle Nath 3 Expansion. I'm giving away two of these mega bundles. These, these ones right here, as well as two regular pre-orders. All you have to do, is like and comment in the video in the description below the one we're looking at and subscribe to the channel for every 1000 subs we hit until the card reveal season is over i'm adding another mega bundle to the giveaway so hit that sub button make me go broke so what am i talking about hundreds of packs for free well if you've been on the hearthstone subreddit or on social media you may have seen posts like this where they saw the post they saw posts like this Thought it was fake, got mine today, WTF. And this guy posted a screenshot of a gift he got on his battle net of 75 standard packs, 75 sunken city packs with the message with come back to Hearthstone and enjoy 150 card packs on us. This expires on August 8th. So they have like quite a bit of time to redeem this. But yeah, that's 150 packs. And if you want to take a look in the shop and let's say Sunken City, this is Canadian dollars. I, I apologize for this. Just for 60 packs, it's like $88. So you're looking at like $150 worth of value for free. But it was also noted there were other people that posted on the subreddit of free packs they got as well. Of only 20, they got 20, 10 of standard, 10 from Voyage to Sunken City. Same message, expires on August 8th. And Still, that's nice, 20 packs, but that's no 150. But a lot of players are also noting they didn't get anything, and it left to a post like this. I thought this was pretty cute. Of uh, Their gift was zero packs for either expansion. Uh, we dusted all your cards, Lamau. You still play Hearthstone, that's pretty cringe. And then somebody who uh, beamed it up pretty hard. By the way, these are fake posts, obviously. Uh, 4,000 packs each saying, uh, enjoy 8,000 packs. That would be quite nice, and uh, I, I kind of doubt that one's gonna happen happen so what exactly is going on here why are some people getting 150 packs why are some people getting 20 why are a lot of people getting nothing well there was an interview done with pc gamer going over this whole thing hearthstone players are getting up to 150 free packs as a welcome back gift with the uh the little subtitle here of the hit first it is always free it's sometimes so are 150 more so a fortunate handful of hearthstone players who've spent time away from blizzard's card game wallet vampire yeah no kidding are finding a bundle of free cards waiting when they fire up battle net here's a player who got 150 packs as a welcome thing and again this is the first reddit thread that really popped up about this the 150 it's just a link to that uh, not everyone's receiving the same unusual amount of generosity this player only got 20 packs so what exactly is going on here and well a blizzard spokesperson told pc gamer we run many different limited and targeted tests such as this to better determine what drives former new and current players interests which is a common industry practice this was a region specific test so basically if you are outside of the uk and france you're out of luck for at least this time around it's only available to people in uk and france so put your angry comments in there about how can how can they get it and we can't for a subset of relevant players who are first randomly sorted into groups before being assigned a corresponding offer between 20 and 150 packs. And uh, PC Gamer notes, while targeted tests may well be a common industry practice, I've never logged into Gwent or Magic or got a mountain of free cards, a mountain of free cards this big. They also note that Hearthstone does have more competition than ever with Legends of Ruterra and Gwent and all these other games. And a big bundle of free stuff is certainly one way to tempt players who bounce over to another card game. As for why some players receive different amounts of packs, uh, Blizzard uh, said it's entirely random. It's like Hearthstone or random, isn't that fun? Uh, relevant players are randomly sorted to various buckets assigned a uh, corresponding offer in this case a number of packs pc gamer notes the welcome back gift is a, re is a re region limited offer only available to select players in the uk and france and it will end on august 5th which is the last day the packs can be claimed so if you are from those regions check your battle net especially if you haven't played in a while you might have free packs i imagine if you're playing regularly you're not going to be offered it's for returning players however if you're not one of the lucky few there's still a chance you might get some freebies in the future 
future. However, with Blizzard spokesperson saying, we will continue running tests like this as it could be a powerful tool for learning more about players. So if players recept to this well, get their packs and keep playing, they'll probably do this more and maybe in other regions. So I will say it, it kind of sucks that it's, it's only for the UK and France, but if this is something that they'll continue to do, I think it's a great thing. Free stuff is great. And if you're upset that like, oh, I should just not play Hearthstone for months and get this, just think about your daily XP, your daily rewards, all the stuff you get for playing, it still greatly outweighs even 150 packs. Don't get me wrong, 150 packs is great for returning players, but it still doesn't really make up for that. But still, really cool thing. So if you are a Hearthstone player that doesn't play a lot, definitely check your stuff out. And the other thing I wanted to go over is the shop. The shop has this just for you section now, where uh, I got to Legend, so I have almost every different bucket. There's a diamond bundle, platinum bundle, gold bundle, silver bundle, and a bronze bundle. And they're all relatively budget friendly. They're all standard packs. Um, the higher level ones have golden packs. They get more expensive. I haven't bought this one yet. This is 3750 Canadian. So it's definitely up there. But if you're looking for like an actual deal to get Hearthstone packs, it's not too bad. And there was some details given about this uh, by a Blizzard representative. Uh, Deck Tech, we quote all the time, here, great uh, PR guy for Hearthstone, was asked about these bundles today and wanted to give more details here. So Nick says here first, as some of you have guessed, uh, these bundles are based on your standard ladder rank. I did Wild Legend, didn't get a single one of them. So kind of a bummer. Maybe they'll add Wild Packs, although Wild Packs suck. I wouldn't even recommend buying them even at a discount. But anyways, it's a test this time. So if it comes back, it might expand later. Maybe Wild, right? Maybe Classic. I don't know. Second, I didn't know this, but there's also an A-B test. That means not all standard players will see these offers and the shop team is seeing how both the people offered and those not offered respond in the overall effect. And third, that tier's offer pops up within a few hours of you hitting that tier and upon login. So that's why there's a little delay with each one popping up. So I will note though, if you don't buy them like within a day or two, apparently they disappear. So if you are looking to spend money on Hearthstone, if that is something you wanna do, these are pretty efficient ways of getting standard packs. And I will recommend, at least for myself, I have all the cards right now. I am holding them i am holding them in some class packs i'm just holding these packs for the next expansion because these packs will, will contain cards from the latest expansion pity timer protected and everything so um that can be a recommendation so i just thought i'd go over some of the new monetization stuff in hearthstone i think it's all relatively good i honestly do obviously the free stuff to returning players that like i can't complain about it it's free stuff to people i wish it was to more people that would be great but still some people are getting free stuff and that's pretty hard to come by hearthstone is notoriously stingy and well with these bundles they're relatively small they're relatively cheap if you don't want to buy them don't buy them they don't feel predatory they're not like mercenary stuff that's totally overpriced they're good value for the money if you are looking at spending money in Hearthstone which again I try to never recommend but if you are it's certainly an option so check those things out check and see if you got free packs and uh I'll keep you guys posted but at least it's nice to talk about monetization of Hearthstone that's not completely soul-sucking and greedy and disgusting and well maybe you disagree let me know in the comments below and if you enjoy the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends